Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see today I'll be showing you guys how I got this fire hair color y'all. Yes this is something very extreme and I love this color. This hair is from hairspells.com. Yes, I have reviewed wigs from them before and they have been synthetic, but they do have some bomb human hair wigs as well. This hair is human and I did dye it. I'm about to tell y'all the details on it right now. I have my phone right here. This is the Brazilian straight 130 density lace front wig. This is in 20 inches and it did come in the color 613. I will have the links as well as a coupon code down below for you guys so y'all go check out my description box down below and if you guys want to see how I got this and if you guys want to see how I got this gorgeous hair color just keep on watching. As I stated in the beginning, this hair is from hairspells.com. Right now, I'm just showing you the packaging where the hair comes in. It does come in this purplish pink drawstring bag. Inside, of course, came the hair and it has the tag on it showing the details about the company as well as the length of the hair, which is 20 inches. Also comes inside the bag some beautiful lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the hair looks like up close. It does come in a white hairnet and I'm going to show you guys how soft this hair is. This hair is so, so soft y'all. And the wig comes with its own baby hairs already. So that was a bonus, bonus, bonus. This is a lace frontal wig, so it does go to ear to ear. Inside, the wig comes with four combs. So there's three in the front, one in the back, as well as two adjustable straps in the back. So before I start dyeing the hair, I did want to be able to protect the knots since they are already blonde. I went ahead and applied some got to be glued gel and I applied two layers. Once I applied one layer, I let it dry. I did use a blow dryer to dry the first layer and then I put on a thick second layer and I let that dry overnight. You guys don't have to let it dry overnight. You can go ahead and use a blow dryer again, but I had time this day, so I just let it dry until the next day to make sure it was completely dry. This will ensure none of the dye gets onto the roots of the hair. So I can just slap it on there and the roots won't be dyed. And if you guys didn't notice, I did flip the wig inside out. This way I can put the glue, well, the gel directly onto the lace. This method gives the knots a bleached effect. That way, once you're done coloring the hair, you won't have to go in and re-bleach the knots and you don't have to apply any foundation in order for the lace to blend in. Everything is already done for you, basically with a 613 blonde wig. Now on to show you guys what I used to dye the hair. I have a rat tail comb, three bowls. I'm actually only gonna use one dye brush. I have $20. Oh, 20 volume developer for the color charm fury red color so i have two boxes of that i have an orange color this is sunrise orange by adore in the color raging red and i'm using two bottles of the sunny yellow in adore now before I started dyeing the hair, I did section the hair into four sections and then the first section I did split it into a smaller section. Now you see I am starting at the root of the hair 
and this first color fury red i wasn't expecting it to be this dark you guys will see later how that turned out but this color was actually really really dark compared to the raging red but good thing i started this color in the back because it started to blend well once the hair was done so if you guys wanted um, a bright red like the front go with the raging red and if you want like a dark deep red go with the fury red so that's just an FYI about this color right here so I'm just taking the color about a fourth down the hair just so I'll have enough room to apply the next two colors so once I'm done with one section I'm going to move on into another section and if you get any of the hair dye anywhere else on the wig, it's okay. Because all the colors kind of blend together, you won't notice. I really feel like this was meant to happen because ironically, once I finished the back two sections of the hair, I ran out of a fury red and I had to go ahead and blend the rest with a raging red so that's how I got the dimension in this wig um, the fury red in the back and the raging red in the front so if you guys are like the way that looked on this wig then you guys definitely use those colors but if not choose one color and go with that now in this video i'm only showing you guys how i dyed one side of the hair because once you see one side you pretty much get the concept so in the beginning i'm just showing you the actual time speed that i'm going i am taking my time when dyeing this wig and then i just speed through the rest as y'all can see i do turn the dye brush sideways just to get a little unevenness at the end so the other colors start to blend in well so it's not super choppy it hope hopefully that makes sense Now on to the sunrise orange color. I am taking the sections that I started with. So I'm starting from the back and because of how I section off with the red, it's easier just to pick up piece by piece to get there, the orange in there. And y'all see I'm taking my time massaging the color in and then I'm going to hold the hair taut and smooth in that color into the next color above it. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch this and I'm gonna move on into the yellow.
Now onto the yellow, it's the same thing again. I'm taking each piece and go ahead and put in that color on the hair and I'm massaging it in. It gets a little bit faster after each color. As y'all can see, I don't have much to do with the yellow. Just slap on that color and massage it in. So this is the hair with all the dye in it and I let the dye sit in the hair for about two hours just to make sure that color stains the lace. Well, what? Stains the hair. And then I shampoo it twice and I deep condition it with silicone mix for about an hour. I rinse it out and I blow dry it straight. And that is pretty much all I had to do with this hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, Bonnie Loves.